In this video, you will learn how to create a user and then give that user access to a virtual data center, or VDC, inside a dedicated cloud. Let's start from the dashboard page, which is the main page that you land on when you log in. To create a user, go to the Users tab and click Add Individual User. Let's give our new user end user rights because we don't want him to be able to change any of the properties of the VDC, like adding more compute, memory, or storage capacity to the VDC. Finally, click Add User to create the new user. Now an email will be sent to this user, which will include a link to a page where he can log in and set a password. If the user has not logged in yet, you can get his login URL by clicking View and Edit Details. Let's copy this link and then log in as that user. This is what the user will see. As the user, I will need to set a password, accept the terms of service, and then log in. Note that this user will have a slightly different view in the portal than an administrator. Some buttons and links will be hidden. Let's verify this user has been added by logging out and then logging back in as the administrator. By clicking on the Users tab, we can see that the new user has been added. You can also see what roles are enabled and that End User is highlighted. If we look at the account details, we can see the user is enabled. This is where you would go to reset the user's password, make other changes, or add additional roles. If you want to make this user an administrator, you have to deselect him from being an end user. A user cannot be both an administrator and an end user at the same time. You can have multiple administrator roles, but you cannot be simultaneously an end user. Let's leave this user as an end user for now and save our changes. Finally, let's verify that this user has access to the SharePoint Virtual Data Center. Great! Our new user has access to the SharePoint Virtual Data Center. Now you know how to create a user and assign that user privileges.